Okay, we're going to look at a uh, roll on the bottom. It's just some of the mechanics, some of the basics, some of the fundamentals here. So Colin's down, Matt is on top. Uh, Colin's going to be doing a roll. Now, a couple key things on the roll. Number one, uh, Colin wants to try to get his body as perpendicular to Matt's as he can. So if he's doing the roll, he wants to bring his outside knee underneath and across. Boom, that's number one. The second thing is when Colin's going to do the roll, he's going to grab the ri Matt's wrist and notice he grabs it at the knuckle. He's not going to grab it on the fingers because it'll slip off. He's not going to hook the elbow. I pr we prefer if guys grab at the knuckle. Okay, he's going to take that hand and pull it up as high as he can toward his chest. So notice Colin is perpendicular. Notice he has the wrist high to the chest, and now Colin is going to keep his head and his shoulders up as he tucks and he rolls here. Boom. As he rolls through, he picks up his Peterson and finishes uh, strongly. Right, let's see the move again. A little bit more fluid this time. Uh, as you do the roll, you want to keep your body in a, in a ball. You do not want to get your body overextended. Uh, if you get it overextended to elongated, it takes away from the roll. Let's see that one more time, guys. Perpendicular, grab the wrist, keep the head and shoulders up. Right? Common mistake here is going to be for guys to tuck their head and their shoulders, and then the top guy will get a half Nelson. Watch how this looks. On a mistake, he tucks his shoulder and he forgets about the half Nelson. So you must keep your head up, head and shoulders up as you do your roll.